Hello everyone and welcome to BTV Dex Education. In this uh, very interesting lesson or session, we are going to be answering some questions in Advanced Level Physics June 2023. And we are going to begin with question 4 of paper 2, which was on simple harmonic motion. As you can find on the screen, the question says, when a 0.8 kg mass is hanging from a helical screen, it produces an extension of 5.2 cm in it. The object is then suspended from two such identical screens as shown in figure 1. If the mass is then pulled down through a further distance of 4.8 cm and allowed to oscillate freely in a vertical plane, determine the period of oscillation of the mass. So here we have a simple harmonic motion situation which involves a helical spring, right? And the first part of the question says we should find the period of the mass. So we know that the period of oscillation is given as 2 pi root m on k equivalent. k equivalent here is the equivalent spring constant of the two springs. The two springs clearly on the figure are in parallel, right? And what is the expression for k equivalent? When springs are in parallel, they produce the same extension. When springs are in parallel, they produce the same extension and uh, the sum of the forces, the sum of the forces in them is equal to the overall force. So we have that k1, right? If the spring constants are k1 and k2, k1e plus k2e is equal to k equivalent times e, where e is the common extension. So from there we have that the equivalent spring constant is k1 plus k2. So this is the expression for the equivalent spring constant when springs are in parallel as given uh, in the figure. So from here, we are told that the springs are identical, right? So it therefore means that k1 and k2 are equal. But what is k1? k1 from Moore's law is f, um, is f on e where f is mg on the extension. Simplifying that we have the mass 0.8, g is 9.8, and the extension is 5.2 10 to the negative 2 in meters. And that gives us 150.77 newton per meter. So that is the spring constant of a single spring. Then, um, our period of oscillation will be 2 pi the square root of the mass 0 0.8 divided by the equivalent spring constant is k1 plus k2 or 2 times k1 which is 150.77. Simplifying that, the period gives us 0 0.32 four seconds. So that is the expression for the period of oscillation of the mass. Lastly, we are asked to sketch a graph to show how the mechanical energy varies with displacement. The graph of mechanical energy in simple harmonic motion is simply a straight, li a straight line. The mechanical energy is in joule and the graph is a straight line showing that the, the total energy does not change. So the, the total energy remains constant when the mass is undergoing simple harmonic motion. We can go ahead to calculate the value of this mechanical energy. So if we are asked to calculate the, the total energy, total energy or mechanical energy is given as a half m omega square a square where omega is 2 pi all over the period. So if we put here, we have 2 times the mass 0 0.8, omega 2 pi all over the period 0 0.324 all squared. The amplitude, the amplitude normally is the further distance by which the mass was pulled. Because when the mass is suspended, 
like it is at a filling bowl. So when you now pull it down further, when you pull the mass down further, this further distance is called the amplitude. So the amplitude given to us is 4.8 times 10 to the negative 2 meters. And that gives us a total energy of 0 0.3847 Joule. So that is the, the total energy of the mass or the, its mechanical energy. And here we can put 0 0.3847 Joule. Okay, so that brings us to the end of the question. I hope that you have a great understanding. To have more lessons, follow us on our website, pzvdexedu.net, or follow us on our Facebook page, pzvdexeducation. See you in the next session of Tutorials with PZVDDEX.